Okay, this video I want to talk about the interval feature that I added uh, in the last version. Uh, unfortunately I seem to have had a lot of questions about how it works and that people are saying it's breaking their scheduled tasks. So what I've got on the screen is uh, two examples. One is using the version that, and not using the interval and the one on the right hand side is using the interval. So what we can see uh, going through is we have 25 users that need to be notified. 14 users are going to be notified. These are the 14 users uh, and this is the log output. On this side uh, what we've got are intervals at 1, 2, 5, 13 and 18. Uh, we've found the same 25 users, the same 14 users that are going to be notified because uh, their password expires within 21 days. Uh, but we can see this time we're only sending uh, seven emails. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and if we look in the days to expire column here, we have seven users who uh, match the interval setting up here. So anyone with a value of one, anyone with a value of two or five, 13 or 18, and there isn't anyone with 18. So that all seems to be fine. Um, and it's, as I say, it's running in scheduled tasks that people are struggling with. Now, looking at the actions of the scheduled task through the scheduled task manager isn't always easy. Uh, you can see we're running PowerShell, we've got hyphen command and then some brackets. But actually viewing that uh, is, is a little bit difficult. So if we use a PowerShell command, which is get scheduled task, uh, and then the name of the scheduled task and look for the actions, we can see it uh, a little bit clearer. So we have uh, hyphen command as the first bit, then some opening brackets, the path to the script, and then all the parameters. The last one is hyphen interval, uh, and it should just be added like that. There's no need for any brackets around it, so it's just hyphen interval. Then each interval that you want to set, like one and two, separated by a comma, uh, and that should be enough to make it work. And certainly in my testing, uh, that's that's worked without any trouble at all. Uh, I've also updated the script now to version 2.7. Uh, which includes a little bit more information when using the status and the interval parameters. So uh, let me just run that now. Hopefully we can see that in action. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, it tells us now in the output whether a person's email will be skipped because their uh, interval setting doesn't match. Uh, additionally, if we look into the log file, uh, we should be able to see. Now you can see we've got those same seven people who were notified and the rest will show clearly that they weren't notified because the interval didn't match. So if anybody else is uh, still having trouble, please feel free to drop me an email, uh, the address there on the screen, and uh, thanks for watching.